Hi, this is Keith with New Vintage Automotive in Cookville, Tennessee. And today we're in the 1972 Opel GT and we have the Redline fuel injection package installed. As you can see, I have the computer inside the cab. I've got a USB cable that's hooked up to the printer port of our ECU. Went ahead and turned on the car. That way I can get a live reading on our program of what our system is doing. So I went to the run ECU 882 icon and up comes the ECU system console. From here I can go to our dashboard which I really like as it tells me exactly what's kind of going on for the most part. It tells me my battery voltage my RPMs, of course, they're at zero because I'm not running the car. It does tell me my water temperature, although it's in Celsius. <clears throat> I can refer to a thermometer really quick and know that, you know, it's about at 90 degrees. I <clears throat> also have some, uh, a scale here with the injector main adjustment and an idle adjustment. And I found this injector main adjustment was at 14, and it was a little too low. Um, what I was happening, what was happening, I would start the car up, it would run, start right up, but then it would just die out. It wouldn't idle. But I noticed it wasn't getting enough fuel. I could turn it on and off, pulse the fuel injectors each time it to load fuel into the intake and it would run and finally once it warmed up no problem so what this did was throw more fuel to it for cold startups and i increased it to 18 i, I tried 16 i always go smaller and 16 was helping but it just wasn't enough 18 was seemed to be the magic number right now so from this screen, I can go up. I have, you know, some other, um, you know, maps and um, areas of adjustment I can do. I can go to a basic map, which it brings me back to the uh, injector adjustments and, and stuff. The um, configuration, this is an important screen as far as getting your firing order correct um this when they sent me the second this is our second one we've installed but when they sent this second computer it didn't have it was set up for an eight cylinder so i, I had to change the engine phases from one three four and two and get rid of the other four cylinders we didn't have um, you can set the uh, rev limiter basically the or the tack full scale if your tack isn't at 8,000 rpms you know you can change that um, uh, the phases of of each engine phase can be set here um, that's that gives you for some other options of your your car um, the, the next thing I'm gonna have to do is this accelerator sensitivity and rate right now i'm getting pretty poor throttle response it just when i when i hit the throttle it doesn't respond it lags so i gotta feather it so it can catch up so these will be some adjustments i'll be doing here shortly to correct that problem i'm try what i try to do is i try to correct one problem at a time and i like to play I, i'll play with the uh timing and, and basically that's in the RPM ignition retard. And I've just made some changes here. I haven't even run it yet. But the good thing is I can make these changes. And if I get too crazy and I start making too many changes and the, thing, the car isn't acting right, I can, I can exit out of this. I can go to the file. And I can upload a calibration file from the computer that I've previously saved. So let's say I added way too much fuel. It's just obviously almost burning your eyes with so much fuel. I can go back and upload a previous one. The, everything's changed back to the way it was when it was running good. So you're as long as you make a habit of saving this stuff, 
you can you can play around with it you're not going to hurt anything it, you just it might not run right so you can just go right back say hey it was running good at this point let's let's keep it at that and that pretty much covers the program um, there's a lot of there is a demo mode you can go in and everything you scroll over uh, even this kind of tells you like injector main adjustment the higher this number the more fuel that will be injected under given conditions it kind of helps you say oh okay that's what that does the demo mode's good for for doing this you don't have to have it hooked up to the car just pretends that some random car is is in there and you can go in and type in things and change you know whatever whatever you like to do